Devon, David, the second, David, the second week uh, win of the weekend. Uh, how'd you? Uh, Maris came out pretty strong today. Yeah, they did, but we knew they were going to come out pretty strong. They won four in a row. Uh, Maris is a good team when everybody's healthy, so their problem has been an injury bug, and we knew everybody was healthy, so we knew we had to come out to play today. Shouldn't they be putting you guys in a, in a zone? And it seemed like you gave you guys a ton of looks at pet threes, um, and you started feeling it. But talk about the way they defended you guys, and how that allowed you to get off the way Yeah, Coach kind of knew that they were going to come out in the zone, so we just tried to we were, we increase our zone offenses a lot in practice, so that's why we got so many open looks. I think we had, what, 30 assists today? 29, 30, 29, so yeah. the key was just sharing the ball. We shared the ball today. Have you ever had that many open looks from three in a game? Uh, not in a while. It's been a while. Chad, you struggled a little bit from three in the last game. Is it just a difference of an off night and an on night? I was just missing, but you know, when you're shooting, you got to have short term memory. I know I'm capable of making shots, so my teammates told me to keep shooting. So. It looked like you passed up a couple early, even in this game. You know, and then I don't know if you saw David Tupin shot you, and then you made, hit a couple and started rolling his ass. Our team does that. You know, I think we have a tendency of overpassing. We're Dave, so. he's only played 25 games or whatever as a freshman, but he's had three games like this, really. Um, do you kind of come to expect that, that he's capable of doing stuff like this? I mean, like I said plenty of times, like we know we know Seth can score. You know, we try to tell him to stay aggressive a lot. And sometimes, you know, to tell him to keep believing in himself and just keep shooting, you know, he's going to, he's going to make shots. He's, he's an incredible scorer. If y'all, if y'all like what he does in the game, see what he does in practice. He's a great scorer. He just got to, you know, Keep working, man. He's gonna he's gonna be a great player in, in college. You know, with the 29 assists on 33 baskets, that's obviously what any team would want to do, you know. Oh, that's tremendous! Like I didn't even know we had all those assists, but I was just happy. And it started with our with our point guard, AJ English. You know, he had 11 assists. I'm gonna say it again. He's one of the best point guards in the country, and it's an honor playing with him. You know, I know I, I know if, if teams come out and try to shut him out or slow him down. He's never selfish and looking for his shot. He's trying to get everybody else involved. And we all, like said, 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 we all, we all tend to overpass and look for each other and defer. So it's a good thing when you got a lot of scores on the team and everyone can score and everyone is unselfish. You know? Even though you guys dominated today, there were times coach seemed a little frustrated, maybe with some sloppy play. What was his message to the team? Really? Well, coach is definitely a, a passionate coach. He's like he, perfectionist. It, it, yeah, he's a perfectionist. It, 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 he doesn't care who we're playing if we're up. 20, 30, he's out there yelling to the people who don't even really get in the game like that. He's out there screaming, you know, when they miss an assignment or something like that. That's just coach. Like, he does that in practice, too. Like, he's, he's a perfectionist. He's very passionate. So, like, he's, he's always going to do that, no matter who we're playing, what's the team's record. And, you know, it's just, it's just great playing for a guy like that, you know. David, Kelvin Amayo was really uh, taking a lot of shots today, going to the basket and on, also on defense. Uh, uh, Amayo was uh, really had a kind of a tough game out there. He, I mean, he had a tough game in regards to probably putting the ball in the basket, but he does a lot of things for us energy-wise, and as you can see, the dunk that he had, you know, it got us electrified. We yeah. were up after that, so we kind of looked to Kelvin for those type of plays and, you know, just, just energy plays and being out there because we know once he gets rolling, he can be very effective for us driving against, you know, the fours, fives, even the threes in this league and, you know, getting to the basket. And if he's not, if he's not hitting, you know, it, it's fine as long as he keeps bring, bringing the same energy. David, on defense, is it key for you to kind of avoid fouls? Um, I, I try to, knowing that, like, offensively right now I'm the only big that we look to to score or whatever you want to call me that we look to to score. So I try to stay out of trouble, er, um, foul trouble early, and then later in the game, like at the end of the game, I was trying to guard Shamar Lewis. Like, I, want, I really wanted to guard him just because I know he's one of the best players in the league. Anything else, guys? Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.